Hello, everybody. My name is Jessica Gonzalez, and I am a religious education instructor, and I work in the Diocese of San Bernardino. I am so happy to have you join us today on our I God Today app. Today, we're going to be talking about the gospel. It comes from the book of St. Mark, chapter 12, verses 28 through 34. We learned that one of the scribes asked him, which is the first of all commandments? And Jesus tells us, the first is this, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is, you should love your neighbor as yourself. Now, I remember when I first heard these words, they were simply just that words. Of course, I'm going to love God. Of course, I will love him with my heart, my soul, my mind, and strength. But it wasn't until I became a parent did I understand what Jesus meant. For nine months, I carried this child in me, and I knew I was going to love this baby. But what I didn't realize was how much I could love someone. I remember holding my one-week-old son and just falling in love with this precious baby. I was so overwhelmed with feelings of unconditional love, of knowing that I would do anything for this little guy. And it was at that moment that I truly took in what Jesus said. You shall love your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. You see, I was only thinking of what was being asked of me. And I didn't realize until I became a parent how much love our Heavenly Father has for us. I know that by loving Him with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength, it helps me to be both a better parent and a better person. Think about how wonderful this world would be if only we followed our Lord's commandments. If people loved Him over money and greed, if people loved their neighbor as themselves, the world would be such a wonderful place. Remember, following God's commandments isn't always easy, but if we stay true to our Lord's teaching, we will have the inner peace that can only come from knowing, loving, and serving God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you with love in our hearts, our soul, our minds, and with all our strength, we honor you. We thank you for your glorious Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for the times when we feel so tired and overwhelmed that you are there, never tiring of us. Thank you for your patience in those times when we make mistakes and for always being there beside us to help us. Please, Lord, continue to fill us with your boundless mercy that, so that we may know you, love you, and serve you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen.